Good morning, fellas. Good morning, ladies. We're going to make some horsepower today. That's right. I said it. We're going to make some horsepower today. All right, let me tell you guys real quick what's been my issue. All right, a lot of guys say, hey, why you ain't dropping videos? Why you ain't doing this? Why you ain't doing that? Well, that's because I got a 2021 motorcycle, right? Not everything just drops as soon as the 2021 motorcycles come out. First of all, I got a very unique color. That's the Snake Venom. So anything I want color-wise, I can't put out there because it's either a zillion dollars to get the part or they just don't have it in stock and they probably won't have it for a while. Uh, second, I like to do different things. I like to have full control when I'm making horsepower. With that being said, I don't want to have the same tuner, the out of the box, basic bolt-on things that everybody else that can go to Harley and pretty much put on their bike. That's that's just not me. Um, I like to make and stretch my dollar. I like to get the most for my for 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 pretty much just my build. I don't want to leave anything on the table with it because then like what did I do it for? 50,000 other guys got the same thing. 50,000 other guys got the same horsepower because they all use the same parts from Harley. Screaming Eagle, listen, those are good parts. I don't I don't take anything from them. But they're not gonna give you everything something from the aftermarket is gonna give you. We all know that if you use aftermarket parts, you got a good chance of going your warranty. You gotta have somebody who knows what they're doing. Somebody, like I've always said, that had an issue, I can take it right back to this guy and he gonna hook it up. He gonna figure he's gonna figure out how to make things right. What I'm doing today is pretty basic, I'd say. I don't think I can hurt anything. I don't think I can risk the longevity of the motor. I don't think any of those things will be happening from basically what I'm doing. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing until I get to the shop, guys, because I want to introduce you to George. George is gonna be my new mechanic. Um, George is one of those guys that I know can make power. I've heard a lot of good, interesting things about George. I actually knew George back in the day. We just never met face to face. Um, so, with the motorcycle game, he's he's really up there uh, with the with the Harley game. So I'm gonna let him explain everything we're doing. So what he wants to tell and what he doesn't want to tell, guys, I'm not responsible. Okay, all I'm gonna do <laughs> is let him do his thing. I'm gonna let him talk about it. I'm gonna let him tell us about it, and then we're gonna go from there. But now I'm on the road. I gotta stop and get something to eat. I gotta get me some coffee. I think it's gonna be a long day. Um, but an interesting one. I can guarantee you this will be an interesting one. George is gonna get the job done for us. I got I got a good feeling he's gonna put a smile on my face. Once we get there, guys, I'll show you all the parts that we got. I'll show you everything that we're going into the bike with, and you might be surprised. All right, guys, see you in a second. A few moments later. Oh yeah, gotta get me some breakfast going. Okay. How you doing? Chilling. Uh, Eleven seventy-two. All right. <laughs> Bro took my car to walk out. <laughs> Let's keep pulling forward down to receive everything for you, all right? All right. All right. Thank you. Is that ketchup in here? That's not mine. We don't have any ketchup. That's not mine. This is... It's the express one. Oh, okay. We that... don't have any of the small cup, that's why. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. Okay, so I made it. All right. Let me show you where we're at, guys. Let me get you right. All American Cycle. This is where the work happens. This is where the horse pie get made. Look who it is. George, sir, good morning. Good morning, how you guys doing? <laughs> so, we have 2021. Beautiful bikes in here already. And there goes the old dog right there. Already ready to get, get, some, get some horsepower. Yeah. Let me just move on. So, this is George's wife's. CVO. This is a 21, right, George? Yeah. 
That's a beautiful bike, though. Yes, it is. I don't remember what color it's called, but I mean, it's got the chrome. Up. I don't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> now, longevity in these motors, because I know you build a hell of a fucking motor. Tell them about, like, you know, people are usually scared because you're blowing through your warranty. I mean, we just got to give something to get something. <laughs> You got to give up the warranty for performance. But you never have. We problem. build them tough. And if you change your oil regularly and don't beat her up when she's hot, that lasts, man. We get 50,000 miles out of 160 horsepower bikes. So your bike's got like how many miles on it? It's about to hit 50. I'm going to show you his bike in a second. It's a gorilla. We won't say too much about it because George likes to get down. <laughs> Let me show you guys George's bike. George, what year is yours? A 19? Yeah. It's a 19 CVO. I think this is called like a shark something color. Yeah. Let me crack it up for you. Okay. George, we got a question for you. Oh. So. Sorry, I'm just going around trying to get everything ready. We got you, we got you. So, if, let's say, guys want to stick to their warranty and they want to go to Harvard, what is the difference between what aftermarket can do versus what Harley and the Screaming Eagle and all that stuff can do? What's usually the difference? Well, the difference is that Harley right now has um, stages and they got this very limited programmer to tune your bike for those stages only. So if you want something different, something more powerful and stuff like that, then you're, you, they're not gonna be able to do it for you with, without tuning the computer with something else like TTS, Power Vision, Thunder Max. So why are we making so much more power than I guess using a Harley stage too with their cam and their right. So their stuff is really controlled and limited. It's okay. not that they don't know what they're doing. It's uh -huh. just so they do have good parts. They do. They just they, they don't they don't let them put it to the edge. They don't want yeah. to hurt the bike to warranty. It's not even that. They they get in trouble with the EPA and stuff uh -huh. like that. All right, so, so so okay, I got it now. I got it now. I got see, it. See, that, that's what the real problem is. That's why they gave us this new computer that seems to be a lot more limited than like a 2017 computer. So ask. I'm gonna come back when we're starting to tear this bike apart, and then I'll ask them some more questions. All right, guys, I know what you guys want to know. I'm gonna ask them all those questions. Look, we're in here by ourselves. It's just me and you in here, baby. <laughs> we ain't holding no punches, okay? George don't owe me nothing. I don't owe him nothing. But I like the way he can answer our questions. He ain't going to BS us around. He's going to give it to us straight. All right? Not a lot of guys are going to do that. Hang out. We'll be right back. Here we go. Here go my parts. Pretty much did black everything. I'm going to let George explain because I don't know anything, but this is a cam. That's all I can tell you. Um, so um, um, the Screaming Eagle push rods are good push rods. I like them. Never had any trouble with them. They're easy to um, install. Uh, the Sakurama uh, 470 cam, it's more of a horsepower cam, um, it's 470 lift. The new cam bearing, full roller bearing, uh, some powder coated parts to get rid of some of the chrome. The lifter cuffs from Sakurama, they're really, really nice, I like them, they're as good as any other. Um, and a big upgrade I like to do is, I like to get rid of the stock sprocket. This sprocket I'll show you later on in the video how much um, slack it has. Um, so when you put it on, it constantly goes like this. This one, you gotta knock it in there of how tight it goes. Okay. So you know, it's, it's a cheap upgrade that we can do while we're, we're there, so it's not worth it. Gotcha. What is this for? Are we using injectors? Yeah, we're gonna put on some bigger injectors. Not that the bike needs it on, on 93 octane, but we're gonna, like I said earlier, we're gonna do an E85 map. So I don't wanna run out of fuel. I wanna give the bike all the uh, fuel that it needs. So, might as well put a set of 5.5s in there. Boom. 
Hey, see, this is what happens when you get somebody who knows what they're doing. Because, listen, I race, but I didn't think of none of that. George had the master plan already, and he's ready to rock and roll. So, I'm going to sit you down for a second, guys. I'm going to let you watch a little bit of the installation. We'll talk every now and then, but I want him to make it through. Oh, I'm over here. Ah. Ah. All right, here it go. Don't let it like wait, reset. Mm -hmm. Scoot over a little bit. Let's keep it there, guy. Close on. Oh, this guy needs to go to the gym. Oh shit! I'm gonna get it. I, I ain't leaving here until I get it. Hey, go. Here it goes. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so um. <laughs> That was my work. For the I let him do the first one because I don't want to look weak. <laughs> hey, they, they, yeah, they, you had to use a little power, okay? All right, guys. So check it out. With the stock, this motor only has 900 miles. The stock crank sprocket for the timing chain. Look how much wiggle room it has. Do it again. Can you see that? Yeah. See how much wiggle room it has? Okay. Well, check this one out. I'm not gonna be able to put it in right away. But, oh yeah, look. It's in. Look at this. Zero wiggle room. That's only gonna protect the crank from rounding out and getting any worse. Oh no. Wow. This is a fucked up situation right now, buddy. I heard of it happen, it had never happened to me. It broke in there. Wow. That sucks. <laughs> well, that's all a part in uh, trying to make some power. So we broke the screws. It, it broke off in here. I mean, of course he can get it out, it's easy to get out, well I won't say easy, but he can do it, but now it's just time consuming, and it's annoying that we got to do it in the first place, brand new bike, the, brakes, the, the bolts shouldn't be breaking off in there, so either Harley need to come up with some stronger bolts, or Harley needs to come up with some stronger bolts. I'm going to heat that one up before I <laughs> So Harley, I stand corrected, this fucking screw is hard as shit. He's trying to drill through the middle of it and it's eating up all the drill bits. So we're just gonna take a little bit more time to get the hole locked in there so we can extract the old screw out. So I got number time. All right, so I know I look a little bit different from yesterday. We had a long day yesterday, man. George put some work in. Yeah. <laughs> we had to fix a bolt that was, you know, one of those Harley bolts that just, I guess, uh, just basically kind of broke in half inside the, what's it called, George? Inside the case. Okay, so it was a book. He had to drill it out. It took a while, and we figured we'd just pick it back up tomorrow. We, I didn't want to bore you guys with, you know, going over and over. So let's show you what, you what we fixed already. So now we've got the push rods, the black push rods. Um, what is this called? Lifted block covers. <laughs> all black everything, basically. All black everything. That's the way I wanted it. It looks a lot better that way. So now we're picking up, we're gonna change out the manifold. Um, we're gonna put the injectors in and then we're going to do the exhaust. And that's the big thing I want you guys to see because we went with one of the top of the line exhausts. And I'll show you in a second. George is about to give me some jewels right now because we're talking about the new pipe that I'm, the new exhaust that I'm putting on the bike. George is gonna explain us why, what we're doing, why we picked this pipe. Take it away, George. So, Two into one is always known to be the best pipe for these V-twins. They pull out the most horsepower, most torque. Um, we go with D&D &D because they got the best craftsmanship that any I've seen. You know? I'll show you, I'll show you. Yeah, the pipes are really well made. Um, I like the flange right here where it goes into the exhaust port because it does not block the exhaust port. And the gaskets that they send them um, with are these really nice comedic gaskets that when um, you tighten down the pipe it doesn't flare out 
and it does not block the exhaust port because some guys spend a lot of money on heads and then they use the wrong exhaust gaskets and they're blocking the exhaust port, you know, that's the wrong power. So we're using those really nice um, gaskets. These pipes are well, well made. They make the best power. Um, they're not cheap, but they get the job done, you know. <laughs> Trust me, they're not cheap. Trust me. <laughs> they're not. They come um, ceramic coated in the bottom and some high temp um, powder on the, on the shields. And they hold up real, real good. All right, me, me and George were debating on giving you guys this information. He convinced me to give you this jewel. I ain't want to put my business out there, but fuck it. What are you going to do? George, go ahead and go ahead and tell them what we're doing. So we're looking for every horsepower, right? So we, we need all the airflow we can get. So we're going to go ahead and go with the 64 millimeter throttle body from Harley. And the way I do it is I buy their stock manifolds. Um, not stock, I'm sorry. The one that comes with the 64. And I send them off to Ward, Rick Ward. He go aheads and he CNC ports them. Look how pretty it uh, looks. He increases the flow drastically. And can't hurt us. I know it's not it's just a 114, but it shouldn't hurt us. It should definitely help us make any horsepower we can on the top side. And it will be good for the long run. We'll be able to use it on a bigger, better build down the line. We, don't, we're not, we can use this all the way up to like a 143. It's gonna be a badass 114. But guys, if it don't work, you'll never see this part of the video. So it don't, don't worry about it. So, and those are the injectors over there. Yeah, some 5.5s from Harley. Okay, so boom. We're trying to make some horsepower here today. Yeah, man. We are buttoning it up right now. We're putting up. We got the manifold on. You see that? Come at the top, see that metal? And now we're putting the intake on. And filter there. Fire it up. Fire it up. Alright, so here's the first startup. We're gonna see if this thing sounds like the champ. I know you can hear that thing <laughs> jumping back there. But um, so far, so good. What we're gonna do is take it in the dyno room. We're gonna let it idle for a few minutes just to make sure everything is perfect like it should be, which I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but we, yeah, we, we, we getting there. I'm gonna be right back and you're gonna see the finishing. All right, it's tuning time. Power vision. We're tuning up power vision. So what is this and what does it do? This is the module. This is what you control pretty much the everything. Um, this, is, this is what lets you get into the computer and all the changes are going to be made through this. Okay. That stays on the bike? Um, yeah. You just leave it in your saddlebag okay. pretty much. Okay. Um, some people mount it up in the handlebars. I don't think it's necessary. Unless is it like a continuous running thing or? Um, you can use it for data, use it with gauges and stuff like that. Uh, okay.
it made power. First pull, huh? First full pull. Okay, so I always like to do a run before I start tuning after I download the base map to see where I stand, where where's the bike at. I like to know how much did I pick up. I just did, I let the bike warm up got it to 180 degrees head temp, warmed up the dyno a little bit, and did the first pull. It made 120 horsepower and 115 foot-pounds of torque, which the, the torque is very low, and the horsepower started off pretty high, which is good, but the AFRs are completely off. At 5,000 RPMs on the front cylinder, I'm at 11, I'm at 11.10. You know, that, that's why the bike is to see where I'm at and now from this I continue to tune but that's pretty good 120 horsepower with the bike being way out of tune I think we might hit our goal all right George just made a a little pull on this bike and he obviously saw something he's he saw something that I can't see from here but he did this now in in the race world, that can mean two things, right? Good or bad, that's it. There ain't no in between on this. So let's try and figure out what George is saying because he's, he's doing something, he's moving around, he just got off the bike, or the bike's still running. I told him the hand on top of the head can mean two things, either real good or real bad, but it's a smile on your face and the hair, hey, look. We're, we're not even like, we're so far off. And look at the power that thing's making right now. Let's see if we can clear this thing up. 127 and 123. We're up there. We're up there. So, what do you think? Give, 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 give me a guess if we're going to put a dollar on the wall. What do you think? I think it's going to be 130. Woo! Maybe 130, 130. That's a lot. I think I'll be happy with that. Like I said, it's not all about what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> Moment of truth? No. We're not done yet? No way. Okay. Still got a little bit more to go. Are you sure what, what's happening? No, all right. Just, just tuning. Uh, I have a real rich right now, uh -huh. so I'm just leading her out slowly till I get it to where I want. Right now we're at 127 and 120 uh, full power support. But she's still gonna pick up power because, you see, uh, where she makes her peak power, which is like a 6,000, um, the AFR is still at 1262. Um, so, you know, we gotta get that to like 12,930 low, and that's where she's gonna make peak power. And, and that'll be another couple of horsepower, so like 130. And the torque still needs to come up. It will come up. Just waiting on the gasoline out down here and budget. All right. So we let it cool off for a few minutes until we get let it get back to temperature every time before you start a pool, right? Is that right? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always got to get down to temperature because. These bikes can take heat, but they don't like a lot of heat. So he always lets the bike cool down. Once it gets back to the temperature he likes, he gets back on and, it and see where it goes. And the dyno does put a lot of abuse on the bike, so you know you, you want to be easy on it. You don't want to sit here two, three hours at a time and just kill the bike. You want to let the room cool off. You want to let the bike cool off. You know, the whole temperature gets really hot to everything. You just want to be nice to the bike. So after we do this, we change the oil out. So then it's fresh and then there's nothing, you got no issue. Yep, well it's synthetic oil. It still has non synthetic oil from Hardy in it. And um, then we'll put some good oil in. Yeah, all right. Day three 
<laughs> the final day, guys. The bike is finally done. George has finished up everything. It's looking good. There it is over there. He's on it. Listen, any real mechanic is gonna test drive your bike for you, okay? You got a real mechanic, he gonna make sure everything's hitting right. Let's see what George does. I think it was very good. If you got any questions for me, hit me in the comment section. Like I said, man, we're an all-American cycle. George is in Miramar, Florida. But George is the man to go to, man. We until the next time. I appreciate you for joining, watching, enjoying the videos, supporting me. But until the next time, guys, peace.